Hello friends, I have been uploading videos of different side dishes of sadhya all these days. Today I have come up with the last dish of this Vishu sadhya and that is the dessert. It's jackfruit season in India and the dishes prepared with jackfruits are speciality of Vishu sadhya and I have chosen jackfruit as the hero today. Jackfruit kheer or chakka pradaman as we call it is my dish of the day. So peeps let's get into action. Take down the list of ingredients needed for this and check out my website for all the details regarding quantities and measurements. Now we will start with the preparation. I am taking ripe yellow jackfruits which are cleaned and fresh and adding this to a pressure cooker along with one and a half cups of water. I have taken here half kilo jackfruit, stick the lid on, put the weight and pressure cook for 5 whistles. You can see here the jackfruits are cooked thoroughly and looks pretty. I will mash up these into a fine paste now. Those who like chunks can leave a bit of them too. And moving on to the next part, I have taken here the traditional oturli or the brass vessel for making this kheer which is traditionally used for this purpose. Add a tablespoon of ghee and transfer the mashed jackfruit pulp and stir thoroughly until it becomes a smooth gooey mixture. You can see here it has become gooey and getting extended when I take it with a spatula. Now I will add a cup of molasses concentrate or jaggery concentrate as we call it and mix up well. Keep stirring and it should become a a thick brown smooth paste. So the yellow colored pretty jackfruit has turned into a brown color thick concentrate. At this juncture this mixture can be turned into two delicacies. If cooked further adding some ghee and rice flour paste it will turn into halwa or you can turn this into a kheer as I am doing here by adding coconut milk. One and a half cups more of molasses concentrate goes into this thick jackfruit paste. Now why I am adding this at this juncture is I just wanted to show that you can make two types of things with this jackfruit pulp. Since we will add more coconut milk and stuff, sweetness of the kheer can be reduced. So I am adding one and a half cups more of molasses concentrate, a quick mix and allow it to simmer till sticky. Now we are using coconut milk for this kheer. This is the third extract of the coconut, around 700 milliliters. Add half of this first and combine without any lumps, then add the rest. Keep stirring until the milk is reduced and becomes somewhat thick. So we will let this simmer for some time so that it gets reduced. While it is getting reduced, I will move on to the next part. Before that, extraction of the coconut milk for this purpose needs some expertise. So you can visit my website singiskitchendiaries.com for all the minute details regarding the making of this dish and all the other dishes. Now for the sago part, I have been boiling water here. The water is boiled completely and I am adding quarter cup of sago into the boiling water. Stir and cook till transparent. Strain and keep it ready. Coming back to the kheer, it's ready to add the second extract. Again, mix it up well and keep stirring till this get reduced again. As you can see here, the mixture has thickened and you can see it kheer consistency getting into action. Now, I'll add the cooked sago and combine well. Now, I'll let this boil for 5 minutes. It's almost 5 minutes now and time to give some flavoring. For this, I'm adding half a teaspoon of dry powdered ginger and 3 4 teaspoon of cardamom powder. Mix this up well. Be careful not to overpower with these two spice powders. The taste of the jackfruit should be the highlight. Finally, it's time to add the thick first coconut extract or the cream. One and a half cups of cream of coconut goes into this skewer. Now immediately reduce the flame to bare minimum and keep stirring while adding the coconut cream. Otherwise it will split. Keep stirring in between. For the final part we will just give a boost to the skewer by frying some thinly sliced tiny bits of coconut in ghee. So I have heated up a frying pan here. Add the ghee and the coconut pieces and fry till golden brown. The coconuts are ready. Now we will add this to the kheer. Ooh la la and the jackfruit kheer is ready to serve. The coconut fried in ghee along with the ginger and cardamom give a subtle taste highlighting the jackfruit. I am going to enjoy this. You guys try this out and 
put in your comments in the box below give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel this is semi anwar signing off from semi's kitchen diaries Thank you.